My name is John Bonnet. I'm a radiologist at Henry Ford Hospital in the Abdominal Imaging Division. And today we're going to talk about violins that the Henry Ford Museum has and asked us to image for them. There are two Stradivarius violins and a Guarneri, and we scan them at the Fairlane Medical Center. And we have images on the uh, workstation here that we're trying to analyze for them. We had a stretcher set up in the scanning room, and so we put the violins on the stretcher. And they had a violin maker who came down from Canada who took the violins out of the case and then removed the strings and all of the metal parts off the violins. And that way it limits the artifacts that we get from CAT scanning. And then he had made a custom base, a little mount for them, to put on the CAT scan table. And he mounted them on the table, made sure everything was straight and level. And then we just modified one of the existing protocols on the CAT scanner to fit the violin parameters, and we scanned them. This is an example of one of the violins. This is the 1709 Stradivarius. And what I've set up here is a rendering algorithm that shows us various densities in the woods. So the uh, greens and purples are the most dense. This is the back plate of the violin. And then as we scroll through the data set, we can go through the center of the violin and then look at the inside of the front plate which these colors are much less dense. The yellows and the reds and the browns are much more less dense. You can see other pieces of wood around the outside that have been placed in uh, for repairs, and there's a large patch in the middle. If you look very closely, some of these smaller pieces of wood that we can see here are actually small cleats that have also been put in uh, as repairs. What makes things different than scanning a human is obviously the densities of what we're scanning are very different. Um, so in CAT scan talk, the numbers that are generated for each little piece of the violin are in the range of minus 500. And most of the human structures are going to be from zero up to maybe 500. So it's a totally different range. So what we have to do is customize the rendering that is done. So there's some presets that are used for humans, but I can work in the background here and create something that uses the colors on the more negative range for the violin. This is not the first time that I've scanned non-human things. I've scanned uh, in the past flowers and seashells and other such objects trying to create artwork. And so I use the 3D data sets to create volume rendered images on the workstations. So this has been a, a great opportunity uh, to work with the Henry Ford Museum and scan these violins and hopefully learn a lot about them and what these great makers from Italian history uh, did different than what we're doing today. Um, and hopefully we can do more with the museum in the future. I'm sure there's a lot of things that they have that perhaps we can um, help them out with technology and learn about them.